Now Heya, she is our pretty, funny, playful, spunky middle child who absolutely loves Disney, wanting to dress up as a Disney princess every day. I got pink and purple. She's very energetic. She can play for hours, and then for one week, she was just feeling tired. And I also noticed a lot of um, bruises in her legs. And mm -hmm. but but that didn't you know give us a signal just because she plays hard. Uh, but when she was so tired all the time, it seems like she's she's getting pale, paler, you know, in color. Uh, that's when uh, Aggie you know took her to the primary care physician. And then they took a blood test and got a, we got a call at night saying pack your bags and just go to the emergency room. Don't wait, just go. You might be there for a few days. And that's when we found out that night. And that's where she was got diagnosed with ALL. The first time I met Nohea was when she was first diagnosed um, in the hospital. There was a request that she and her family had to see Olaf. When we did meet, it was really just a great opportunity to get to know her. And then really, I just got to spend time with her family and get to know her parents and hear about things that had been challenging um, at the time of her diagnosis, um, hear about things that had been going well, really just validating some of the experiences that they've had um, to know that some of what Nohea was experiencing um, was normal. And it is challenging for kids and offering some different ideas of what could be done. The one thing that stood out the most was when um, Kristen delivered a Barbie doll that was bald. And she encouraged like Richard and I to talk about that when Nohea was starting to lose her hair, that it's totally normal to look bald and still be beautiful. So it's the little things like that that they think about that matters the most to families like us. What I, as a mother, appreciate with Mary Bridge is that I can go there and I can check in and I know that she's gonna be in great care and receive great care. And there's just this harmonious vibe between the nurses and the doctors, the phlebotomist, getting finger pokes, blood withdrawal, all of it is just such an easygoing process. She loves going to the Mary Ridge ER. The funny, yes, the I funny thing. I have never thing. seen a child who's excited <laughs> to go to either the clinic or to the hospital because... <laughs> she gets pampered there. Hey, is sassy, and I enjoy that sassy little attitude. How are you? The first time I met Nohea, she came in after having her port placed. I had to give her chemo and get her deaccessed for the first time. And she just amazed me because she just sat there and let me do whatever I needed to do. She's Esther's little helper from taking out her blood, like through her port and stuff. Does she transfer the blood or do I? She transfer? likes to transfer the blood. Esther is so good at having her get involved with her care and Nohea's learning. Esther always says if she could access herself, she would. She would do it, you know? <laughs> but she's um, really awesome and she makes us feel at home. I try and let her do the things she can on her own. I am a strong believer in letting kids have choice within reason and with being able to help in their care, it makes them more present and it makes them know what's going on. There are so many fun and special things about Nohea. I think that she is a patient that we often joke we need to take videos of because she has done incredibly well throughout her treatment. She is such a champ. Do we do a count or we just go? Just go? There's a lot of hard things that we ask kids to do during cancer treatment, but Nohea has done so well. She's like just a role model for so many kids. We found out that this is a B cell leukemia. Um, she's gonna live to be an old lady. <laughs> you get that, wow, like, you know, just at, at least you know that, hey, this is curable. I try to tell her every day that you will, like, you will come out of this like victorious because you're my chemo ninja warrior princess <laughs> and she goes okay mom you know but i'm just so proud of her
The Brigade helps us in such a variety of different ways. The generous donations that they give help us to build, be able to buy supplies that we need to help support patients. We have activity kits that we put together that are available to kids in our outpatient clinics. They volunteer their time and energy. That also is, I mean, there's no way we could ever thank people enough for the time they spend um, giving to us and, and spending with us. Um, we're really grateful for all of all of what the brigade does. They are really like the backbone of Mary Bridge. They help support not just the Hemonk team, but the entire hospital and health center in so many different ways. Thank you, Mary Bridge Brigade. We appreciate you. Um, we we love everything about um, what you're for, what you stand for, what your legacy is for, and that. It was all worth it, a hundred years later. Yes. Mm -hmm.